Michael here with another huge week in LEGO news. LEGO Across the Spider-Verse. Big updates on the Spider-Man Final Battle. $430 Gringotts Bank. LEGO Ideas Orient Express. Exclusive Ninjago figures. New promos. And come meet me at Brickworld Chicago. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over at Woot, the LEGO Super Mario Peach's Castle is 23% off. And the LEGO Avatar Floating Mountains, Site 26 and RDA Samson is 34% off. Next at Amazon, the LEGO Ideas Tree House is 20% off, and the LEGO City Express Passenger Train is 18% off. Plus, they've got the LEGO Icons, the Friends Apartments for 17% off, the new Jurassic Park Velociraptor Escape for 13% off, and the LEGO Dots Disney Mickey and Minnie Mouse Stitch-On Patch is 51% off. Over at LEGO, they've got the Mosaic Maker for 40% off, plus it's double VIP points now through Tuesday the 13th. And you can get the VIP Fleece Blanket with purchases over $200, the LEGO Pirate Ship Playground with purchases over $100, and the new Summer Fun VIP Add-on Pack with purchases over $50. So it's a great time to pick up all the recent June releases, and if you want to pick up any of these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse news, previously we talked about how it had been reported that there would be a Lego world in the new movie. And now that the film is out in theaters, thanks to the New York Times, we now know that a 14-year-old was the one who animated that sequence in the film. The directors of the movie, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, discovered young Preston Mutanga on Twitter after seeing his amazing recreation of the Across the Spider-Verse trailer out of digital Lego, which is pretty shocking because it also means that the sequence was not added to the film till quite late. One of the directors told New York Times, we found out that it was a 14 year old kid who made it. And we were like, this looks incredibly sophisticated for a non-adult, non-professional to have made. So they reached out to the self-taught animator who worked on it over his spring break. It seems like there'll be a lot more opportunities coming for Preston in the future. And hopefully this also might mean that we'll eventually get Spider-Verse Lego sets finally. Speaking of sets, in a previous video, we talked about the Spider-Man final battle set for $110 that's coming out in August. This set includes a one Dropping nine minifigures, including all three versions of our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But thanks to foreign retailer JB Spielwaren, we've got some new information where all three Spider-Men also come with alternative heads. For the MCU, Peter, they're using the same head that they've been using for a few years now. For the amazing Spider-Man, they're actually using Jim's face from the recent office set, which I actually think works pretty well. And for the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, we also get a unique head and hair, though we can't exactly make out what it is. Though in any event, getting these unmasked versions that we saw often in the film is so exciting, and it makes this amazing set even more of a must-have for me. Next up, thanks to BrickLicker, we got even more news of the upcoming Gringotts Bank set. This set is set to include 4,807 pieces and retail for $430 starting on September 1st. After the June release of the Diagon Alley, Wizards Weasley Wheezes set, many thought that this one would be a standalone just the same. But thankfully instead, it looks like it will also be compatible with the Diagon Alley modular style buildings that we got before. The build of the set will consist of the Gringotts Bank building that can be connected to the others, or instead be placed upon the detachable minecart system. And the final major component of the build will be the large Iron Belly Dragon. And I have to imagine the build will be quite large, similar to ones that we've seen from the Ninjago line. This set is also set to include a whopping 13 minifigures, so I'm guessing we'll get some new goblins. And finally, it's also said that there's going to be a Gringotts Vault promo set with 212 pieces that might only be available to those who purchase this set. And on the whole, I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Next, thanks to Promo Bricks, we also have the first information coming out about the LEGO Ideas Orient Express. This set should be available November 1st, retail for $300 and include 2,540 pieces, which is around 500 pieces less than the original fan design. But exciting for LEGO train fans, it's said that this design should be compatible with the standard LEGO track, which may mean that there will be a way to motorize the set and have it run around your LEGO city. And I know a lot of fans can't wait to find out. Next, thanks to Jay's Brick Blog, we got a look at the Junosaurman for LEGO Build-A-Minifigure, which includes include some Ninjago characters. First from Ninjago, we've got new characters Aaron and Sora, as well as a ninja apprentice with a chicken. This version of Aaron comes with an exclusive torso and face print not found in the sets. And the same is true for Sora, who has a new casual outfit and that great hairpiece. They also have the same figures for Lloyd, Kai, and Nia that came in the recent core wave of sets. And finally, there's a new figure for this female soccer player with a new torso and legs and that hair in an exclusive color. And in store, you'll also find a Ninjago-themed building area. Plus at the store, on the 14th and 15th, you can build an Everyone is Awesome themed Pieces of Me canvas to take home with you. And the promo image features some really unique colorful designs, and it's a great way to celebrate Pride Month. Next in VIP news, previously we'd gotten the Dragon Adventure Ride and Pirate Adventure Ride promo sets, and now we're finally getting the other two. First up, on June 16th, you'll be able to redeem 2,400 points for the Space Adventure Ride, which now seems to feature an updated design with the newer white helmet and different boosters. And then on July 11th, you'll be able to redeem 
redeem your points for the Fantasy Adventure Ride, which includes this fun design for a colorful unicorn. As these sets were 2022 Asia exclusive Bricktober sets, I'm so excited that they've been slowly releasing them, and even more excited that I'm finally going to complete my collection this year. Next up, recently we got the underrated reveal of the exotic pink parrot, with 253 pieces retailing for $20 on August 1st, which may look familiar as it's a recolored version of the blue exotic parrot set we got in January. This is interesting as it's looking like LEGO is moving forward with something they tested previously, where they're releasing recolored versions of other crater sets, which was a European test for the Fiat 500 and Mighty Dinosaur sets. While this may not be a must-have for those who have the other version, I think this new design looks really nice with all the bright pink colors, which also look great on the alternative builds, and I'm hoping this is something that LEGO continues with other sets. Next, as we talked about, there are a ton of promos going on right now, including double VIP points through this Tuesday. They've brought back from the holidays the incredibly comfortable fleece blanket, which you can get with purchases over $200. Plus, they've also brought back the recent favorite pirate ship playground with your purchase over $100. And we've got our first high quality look at the Summer Fun VIP add-on pack, which you can get with your purchase over $50. Included are unique pieces like umbrellas and nets, pizza, fishing gear, snakes, large plant pieces, coral, and ice cream. And interestingly, a snowboard, ski poles, and a Santa hat. But in any case, I really like these VIP packs with all their unique pieces, and if you want to pick up any of these deals and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. Next in LEGO Ideas news, there were two more projects to 10,000 supporters on the platform this week. First up, we've got the Red Dwarf Sleeping Quarters. Based, of course, on the 80s British television show The Red Dwarf, this one depicts the quarters from the mining ship. This set reminds me a lot of the Seinfeld set in its shaping, and it features lots of amazing detail with all the different pipes and accessories and Easter eggs. The Red Dwarf TV show has definitely been a popular one on LEGO Ideas, with multiple projects hitting 10,000 supporters. But as none of them have made it through, I'm curious about this one's chances. Next up, we've got Trojan Horse. The build depicts the large wooden horse that was said to be used by the Greeks during the Trojan War to help them enter the city of Troy and ultimately win the war. And the build comes together with unique shaping and multiple shades of brown to give it that wooden effect. And just as in the story, you can hide the soldier minifigures inside. These historical projects have been very popular on the platform, but as we've yet to see one make it through, I'm curious how this one will do. But as always, we're gonna have to wait and see. Quick programming note that there will be no video next week as I'll actually be attending the Brick World Chicago convention. And for those who are a fan of my LEGO Masters podcast, I'll actually be hosting some panels with some of your favorite contestants at the convention. And if you're going to be there, be sure to say hi. So there you have it, another fun week in LEGO news with a lot to be excited about. I personally can't wait for the new Spider-Man set, not to mention the reveal of the upcoming Gringotts Bank from Harry Potter. And with double VIP points going on, I may have to make a trip to my local LEGO store to pick up the new build a minifigure before I head off to Brick World Chicago. And thanks again for your understanding while I'm traveling. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe, because once I'm back, there'll be another week in LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one!